I'm so glad I have Keith <laughs> here to hold me back in case that's necessary. Keith Payne's here for North Meridian Hardware. Actually, his eight-day forecast, what's looking good for next week is an opportunity to get some little jobs done right. that can make a big difference before the weather turns and it's maybe a little bit too late and you're already losing some money. Huge difference. Huge difference. So we're talking weather stripping. Now, I mentioned in the break, before the break, that there are those jobs that some people will say anybody can do and does require some skill. This you, literally... This anybody. is probably the simplest of jobs that we're going to do on the show. So no excuse not, not to do it, right? right? Okay. Plus, you know, I've been trying to push saving money oh, know, yeah. from the cans and mm -hmm. all this stuff. This is another big money saver for people. But this is where a lot of little things add up to the big savings, right? right? right. Okay, so what are we going to do? Okay, first question for you. How much do you think people spend annually on their um, utility bills within the house? You know, heating, cooling? I don't, I, honestly, my wife handles those because I don't <laughs> want to see them. I, I don't want to see I him. think a lot of guys say <laughs> like you just you just write the check. Well anyway according to the Department of uh, Energy it's about two grand two thousand dollars per year okay. uh, which isn't too bad. No but that's an average. So. Which on average right but most of the times when you deal with homes that are over uh, that are older than 1950 mm -hmm. 60 percent of the of that energy cost of two thousand dollars tends to go toward the heating and cooling. Okay. And so we do have a lot of older homes. You know, we, we got the we got the quarries and the limestone, so some nice, great structures, but right. they get leaks. Yeah, they can be kind of like money pits. Yeah, exactly. So they're beautiful, but they can be money pits. A lot of slow leaks can right. add up to, so, to to a flood. So what, what's what's one of the simplest things? That, one of the simplest of, things. Of the simple thing. We're going to be talking about primarily. Uh, this is an MD product. Okay. It's called Cinch. All right. Because it's easy as to say. That's it. All right. Um, again, this is a weather stripping product. And they've they teamed up with 3M, which everybody knows how yeah. 3M, they can make something that sticks to anything. To anything, yeah. Um, sticks to water. Um, but the thing, uh, this particular um, weather stripping, it's as easy as you measure. These are the things you'll need. It's something simple. Measuring just tape, you have one, yeah. Measuring tape here, so you'll sit there, measure the window out. Well, did I break your measuring tape? I think when you I did. Used it? I saw oh you God. playing with I'll, it earlier. I'll get you a new one. I know right where to go. <laughs> right. So, yeah. so you're trying. To... What did I do to this? Thing? I don't know. Oh. But anyway, so you'll you'll measure it, um, cut it with one of these. Which, oh. Measure it. Yep. Cut it. Cut it That's why with I keep one of one these. One long fingernail. So I'm always yeah. Okay. Cut and then with, yeah. And then basically the stick it. Right. Okay. So if you come over here, mm -hmm. I mean, so remember, we're going to measure. Right. We're going to cut. And we're, we're going to measure. We're going to measure interior, right? Right. So these are kind of already pre-cut. Of course so they are. You're the, always prepared. Yeah, for the ease of simplicity. That. This is what the tape looks like at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, this represents the outside of a door. Yep. Um, and what you're going to do easily is just peel this off, just like that. Mm -hmm. And you're going to put this right along the uh, side of the door here, you so that you want to make sure that you end up creating a tight seal. Yeah, you want to make sure that this. And just stick it. That, yeah, that the cushy part is coming in contact. That's right. the whole point. That's the seal. Right. Okay. Because see, right when this door is opening here, right. that's where a lot of air gap. is coming in. Once you shut it, boom. Right. Now this is for the side. This is for the bottom. Okay. This okay. Is, Little. Uh, same thing. Just, okay, but it's like got like multiple. All right. Right. Why don't you try that? I'm just sticking along here along the bottom. This is simulated. So Here the sweep have. goes at the bottom. There you go. Just like that. And. How, I mean, just yeah. you, you just want it touching, right? Yeah, you don't just want, touching. Okay. Just a little bit above it. Man, those 3M people, they know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, they know what they're it's doing. Just, you don't even have to apply much pressure. So you stick it on there. So basically, within about 30 minutes, this reaches its maximum strength. Oh, really? And, okay, yeah, then so you're you, set. Yeah, you're set. So if you peel it off, you're going to really be peeling off the paint, too. But, but people might be, you know, oh, that's a little crack. What's the big deal? You take a, the size of a door. And four cracks, I mean, you start adding up to a lot of space. $29, basically a door and a window. Okay. Yeah, so you can you know, you yeah. save basically about 20% of that $2,000. So you could, you know, pick up another 400 bucks in your pocket. And we have long heating seasons. Maybe long. we don't have a ton of snow, but we have a long heating season. Right, right. So that's going to add up. This is something else that's pretty interesting I wanted to also show you about. Okay. Most people aren't thinking about this. This is a uh, light switch sealer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something very, this is like ridiculously simple. Yeah. But what you do is basically take the, uh, the, the plate cover off, right. like right here, and you'll take this out, peel that off there. Yep. 
and you'll, if this were a switch, right. you just put it here and then screw it back on. And you get a whole bunch in one kit, and people are thinking, well, that's an even smaller area, but if you think about how many outlets and light switches you have on your exterior walls, it's... Oh, it adds up. It's lots when it you start up. doing those numbers. Well, see, Tracy, the neat thing is, is when you're really going through looking at the house, the best thing to do is just use your hand as a gauge, yeah. feel over the door, you can feel the cold breeze, mm -hmm. uh, especially with this temperature gauge uh, that may happen from this weekend. Sure. But, you know, feel over the um, receptacles. You'll typically feel the wind coming, the air blowing through there. Mm -hmm. Those are hot spots. Yeah. So, uh, otherwise, we, stop down at the shop. Yeah, we had, a, we had a cat, actually. It worked real well for drafts because she would just walk, and then all of a sudden, hey, whoa. And then she, <laughs> but she'd go back to her path. I'm like, okay, i got to check that later and just walk around the house and follow her. <laughs> and, yeah, if, if you're not comfortable with a hacksaw or making cuts, they'll, they'll walk you through it. They're not going to send you off on some project with, with the right equipment and not the know-how. You can do that. But quickly, we want to mention this. This is a really great thing we've teamed up with you guys. Oh, yeah, th this is quite powerful. Um, for, I mean, for those... If uh, those have seen the story that mm -hmm. Channel A did, yep. it, it was very powerful. Um, what we're carrying within the store is something called Firestop. And um, if for those who haven't seen the store, I really recommend go back to Channel 8 site, yeah. look at it, because it's very powerful. Basically what happens, this mounts underneath uh, the fire hood um, area here. And let me try to turn this to the side so you guys can capture that. This m mounts right underneath the uh, range hood. So what this it does, out of the way, but it's right there. It's right there. 60% of the fires that tend to happen pretty much nationally mm -hmm. happen because of grease fires mm -hmm. right by the stove. So when this ends up going off, there's a wick in here that it ends up dispersing a powder. So you don't have to do anything. There's nothing to go get. There's nothing to pull or administer. It handles, senses the fire itself. Yep. And it's just as simple as this. It's a magnet. That's awesome. This is a magnet. It's just this simple. So this is underneath the hood. Just stick it there. Boom. That 50 bucks right there could save thousands, save thousands of, of dollars. Uh, maybe even lives. Who yeah, knows? We're going to have an event coming up, not, not this Saturday, not tomorrow, but next Saturday. There you go. There's the information. 7.30 in the morning to 1 p.m. at North Meridian Hardware. You can get more information on wishtv.com. Yeah, Troy was on here. It's pretty compelling stuff. People throwing water on a grease fire. Poof. 1,700 times, I think, was the number in terms of what it does and how it spreads and, right. and, and does not dissipate the fire at all. Tracy, one last thing. We do have a lot of things going on at the store. We mm. really recommend people come definitely check out the store. This weekend, we're going to be showing tomorrow, nice. 12 to 4. We're going to be doing an on, uh, on live just demonstration about the web stripping. The following week, we're going to do the huge do outreach with the... Just so your, your, your Saturday is set for the next two Saturdays. You're just going to go to North Meridian Hardware, and if you're there a little bit early, hang out. It's a really cool place. My brother said it's like a, it's like a, it's like a coffee shop with tools. <laughs> anyway, we've got all the information on our website, IndyStyle.tv. We'll be right back.